Over the next seven days, we have planned the most epic road trip here in Costa Rica, but it's not gonna be any ordinary road trip. We have hired the smallest four by four camper we could possibly find from Costa Rica camper vans. And we are going to take this around to explore everything that Costa Rica has to offer. From finding sloths in La Fortuna. <laughs> oh my God, this is literally the best day ever. To getting our adrenaline pumping in Monte Verde. <laughs> take you on what we think is the best road trip in Costa Rica. Costa Rica is well known for its adrenaline pumping activities so we won't be forgetting those. We're going to be exploring everywhere from La Fortuna, Monte Verde to Manuel Antonio so stick around. Oh, it looks so cool. Tiny but really cool. Seeing it for the first time. I'm really excited to be in Costa Rica and explore. I got some paperwork, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. We have a new rat. Wow, it's a cool, full of gadgets and super oh, badass. All right, and it's automatic. All right, let's go. So we have rented a Suzuki Jimny camper van for the next week so that we can explore Costa Rica. We've rented this one from Costa Riders, which I'm super happy because the team, like Max just said, were amazing. They explained everything to us, they're so helpful. They've got us on WhatsApp so that we can ask them questions as much as we want. They said, just like, let us know and we will help you out. And it is such a cute little car and it's also a full drive, which apparently is going to be needed in Costa Rica. Because yeah. <laughs> 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 it's just so cute. We just love it so much. It's this little tiny mini full drive. All right, I need to know where to go. Why have you not put this up already? Why did you drive out without doing that? So it begins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> After driving at least 45 minutes in the city to find a Walmart, we made it. Alright, let's go. We should be at a waterfall by now. <laughs> yeah, it was a long drive. Alright, Walmart. First time in my life I'm at a Walmart. Oh my god. Well, Walmart is as cool as I imagined. They have everything you need in huge quantities. <laughs> well, I can see our car in the distance and it's so cool. All right, we are finally on the road and on our way to explore Costa Rica. We have left the city, which I'm so grateful for, and we are on our way now. We're heading to La Fortuna. It's gonna be our first stop here in Costa Rica, but it's already almost 2 p.m and it's a two and a half hour drive so i think by the time we get there we're probably just going to be finding a campsite and setting up camp and starting the adventures well i mean the adventure starts now really sloth jaguar oh. and uh it was anteaters loving the drive so far it is beautiful now that we are out of the city look sorry that was unexpected but now that we're out of the city it is dense lush tropical green we're going over this really really windy road so we're going very slow but it's beautiful so it's so nice and i think we're just about 45 minutes away from roughly where we want to camp so maybe like an hour <laughs> a little bit more than an hour away from actually finding a place to camp but yeah the drive has been so nice first <laughs> alert <laughs> I 
Chiapas volcano. Loving it. Loving Costa Rica so far. We've done nothing but drive, but the views are top notch. to La Fortuna and uh, we looked on iOverlander uh, for a campsite. We found one that has great reviews, it's free, it's by a river, some people say they can even swim there, so it should be good. It's uh, 19 minutes away from La Fortuna, so we're gonna give that a shot and hopefully, fingers crossed, our first night goes well. to the spot now we gotta find flat ground do we have to cross that river we have to cross the river baby huh. hell's yeah I wow look at this spot this is nice oh Jacqueline's gonna go for it too deep here we go look at this spot epic epic Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been dreading What's setting that? up of the tent. Is that a Where? <laughs> uh, we found a stuff. No, it's just a nest. It's just a bird's nest. It's just a bird's nest. All right, setting up tent time. Here we go. That's about as far as I'm confident. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, our camera overheated, believe it or not. It's 5.30. We got the tent up, but I can't figure out the poles. But we got the awning. Look how cool this is. But yeah, this is the rig. And yeah, the sun is setting. There's some very threatening thunders happening. Very humid. But this campsite actually has a street light right here, believe it or not. Crazy. In the middle of nowhere. This is an amazing looking spot. Amazing adventure. I could have never dreamed of a better spot for our first night. Wow, absolutely mesmerizing. Like, this is wild that it's epitome kind of thing. I'm in a town in Costa Rica. We made pasta with sauce. <laughs> Classic, easy one pot candy It was hot when we got in because we had to make a bed. We opened as many windows as we can. It's raining a little bit, perfect amount. We didn't get too wet. I think we'll be okay. We just have to cool down from the effort of packing everything up. Mm. But I think we'll be okay. The mattress is reasonable. Very hot. <laughs> I think we're gonna be 
be sweaty in here. But yeah, the mattress is reasonable. But it moves quite a bit. I'm a bit <laughs> like the car could topple over. I'm sure it won't. I mean, they have like a bunch of these cars. I'm sure that doesn't happen, but it does feel like it, right? Wobbles a lot, yeah. Soft yeah. suspension. Anyway, good night. First night. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Morning, beautiful people. It's early. It's 5:45. Ah, slept alright. Tent is good. The mattress is reasonably flat. It didn't rain all night. The moment it stopped raining, it got really hot. But it's so beautiful here. I can't wait to cover in a better place than that. But the only thing I can make this thing better would be a cup of coffee. So let's get that going. The rental company provides this coffee thing here. So we'll try it how it works. So much sticking out here. Well done. I think we're off to a hot spring. That Jacqueline spotted. Always do one last check, not only if you haven't forgotten anything, but also to make sure we don't leave any rubbish. Uh huh. Oh, we go down here? Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you try those. All right, so we just arrived at the hot springs and one of the reasons I wanted to come early is because is that I read that there was a guy who basically stays here and charges you for parking, but technically it's public road. Like you're not allowed to charge for parking. He doesn't own it. But who knows what will happen to our car if we don't pay. Gracias. It started off at 5,000 colones and we said, oh, we only have, and I pulled out a couple of US dollars and he said, uh, he went down to 2,000 colones and then I gave him the $4 cash we had on hand. Wow, this is beautiful. But at the end of the day, he's happy. We've only paid four US dollars. It's not the biggest scam in the world to worry about. And look how beautiful this is. Oh my god, it's so warm! Adventure time. This is like Jurassic Park right there. Like this lizard right there with the thing like that. Oh my god. beautiful this is and we're literally on the side of a road <laughs> it's insane i can't get over that that was so beautiful like costa rica is really blowing our expectations for the nature and the beauty 
and I'm so glad that we took a camper van because if you were trying to travel around by bus you would miss out on those little things because you wouldn't be able to get here so yeah definitely hiring a car and doing it your own way I'm already so glad we did it and it's also a very cool little spot here look at this view Bom, 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 bom. There's an eagle right there. Oh my god. What a spot. Alright, breakfast time. I'm hungry. Wow. Yum. Hmm. Great start for our Costa Rican adventures. Alright, that was an amazing breakfast. And I'm so excited for what we are about to do right now. This is the thing that when we said we were going to come to Costa Rica, that was like my number one thing that we have to do in Costa Rica. So we're about to go find some slots. <gasps> All right, let's go. Woo! Gonna go find some slots. Living in their trees. Living their best sloppy life. look because we're doing a self-guided tour I think if you did a guided tour they probably do a walk in the morning they know where they all are and sloths move so slow they probably stay in the relative same area for the day <sighs> all right Max wow look at that it's so vivid red okay we just learned that the two-toed sloth is 24 to 27 inches so to give you guys an idea about how big it is because we had no clue but uh, so far we've been walking for maybe 10 minutes and seen nothing except for some nice birds oh, wow. How the hell did you know that? I never would have spotted that <laughs> You guys are good eh? <laughs> You need to train the eyes. That one's sleeping. They yeah. like to curl up, but this one is skinny. The best one outside. This yeah. one's easy. A little bit. Yeah, it's on that skinny tree. That seems this skinny tree leaves. right here. Okay. Oh, okay, let's go have a look. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, we just got stopped by a couple of the, I think they're the guides who work here. They're just out having a stroll. A stroll. They're not Keep with on anyone. For the next times. Yeah, and they just spotted two sloths that we've walked right past. Never would have seen them. Anyway, we're gonna go see one right now because apparently he's eating. The first one was way too far away and he was sleeping. But, and it uh, looks like a big brown furry ball. Yeah. Let's go have a look. Oh, yes. Oh my god. Where? Where? Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, oh shit. Jacqueline, don't freak out, but there's a sloth staring at you. My new best friend. <gasps> it's moving. I can't believe it. He's looking at us. He is like in optimal sloth position right now. Like when you imagine a sloth hanging on a branch, he's doing exactly that. Oh my gosh, like I know that's what sloths are known for, but when you actually see how slow it is, wow. Oh my god, look, 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 look. 
<laughs> if this is the only sloth we see on this whole trail, I'm satisfied. See, but this was definitely worth it. That was the coolest thing ever. Like, oh my god, such a bucket list thing to see slots. Yeah, bucket list. Well, we can now say we've seen slots. That was amazing. However, we were very lucky to see the sloths we did see. I think that definitely take a guy. Yeah, don't even bother. Like we did it to save money and also because we ha do have an accompanied tour very soon in a couple days. Mm -hmm. So it is hefty in terms of fee, but it's those things you have to suck up because otherwise you'll spend half of it and see nothing. So yeah. The slot yeah. we saw was so amazing though and we're so grateful to have seen that slot and to the guys who pointed him out to us. Thank you. We really appreciate that. So now we're driving about two hours to our final destination. We're going to take the scenic route but along the Arenal Lake and stop somewhere for lunch whilst we're there and then we should end up camping somewhere near a river called Rio Celeste which is meant to be absolutely stunning. Salad for lunch. Thank you, love. Bon appetit. Merci. Thanks. We also bought an entire pineapple. Ugh. So we need to eat everything that's sticking out over the top before we can close this Tupperware. <laughs> so we're just at the the top of Lake Arenal. Like basically, we drove the entire length of it just now. It took us about an hour, and. Uh, this is not where we're camping tonight. This is just lunch. So we're gonna keep driving a little bit further and find a campsite, hopefully near a river. We'll see. After yesterday's camp, we, we start very high. Mm. Spoil. It's gonna be really hard to beat that one. Well, we'll try. We'll definitely try. at the gas station we still had half a tank of fuel but we just never know when there's gonna be a fuel so we just like to fill up and also we can fill up our water here which is awesome they gave us this huge like five gallon drum of water so we're just gonna get that filled up because we're close to empty which I'm really surprised about it's only been one day maybe it wasn't full I'm not sure <laughs> alright half a tank of fuel 16,570 colones. How many liters was it? <coughs> 21. 
Yeah, so it's a 40 liter tank. 21 liters. And this is super, by the way. Ooh, that's $2.32 a liter. Dang. So I've got a potential campsite for tonight in Iowa Verlanda. We're gonna go check that out now. It's a one hour drive. And potentially if that one doesn't end up being any good, there's a few more options around that we could go check out, but this one sounds the nicest based on the description, so... just been kind of climbing up a mountain and now we're like in the clouds <laughs> Look at this! comes with a shower because honestly it makes you sleep so much better especially because it's really hot in Costa Rica I don't know if we've mentioned <laughs> so it's only six o'clock and this is the one negative so far to camp in Costa Rica is that it is dark like it's dark. sun is set it's dark and when we hired this camper van it didn't come with any torches at all. No lamps, no torches, nothing. So we're stuck in All right, that's it beautiful people for day one and two on this Costa Rica road trip. We're just getting started. So make sure you like, subscribe and catch us on the next one. Bye. <laughs> Bye. In the next video, the Costa Rica road trip continues as we explore more of this stunning country, starting with an adrenaline-filled adventure in the epic waters of Rio Celeste. Before making our way to Monte Verde's unique cloud forest, where we get a terrifying uh, when surprise. When they strike, they throw 80% of the body. How big that is. Costa Rica's beauty and friendly locals have truly blown us away. So make sure you don't miss out on the next video and hit that subscribe button while you're here. Pura vida. <laughs> One, two, three.